Chapter 49 Adelmo's eyes widened as he stepped into the room where he had been brought before. The atmosphere was heavy with an otherworldly energy, and the walls were adorned with strange symbols and markings. It was as if he had stumbled upon a hidden chamber, a place of ancient rituals and secrets. Confusion washed over him as he realized that the tour guides had never mentioned the existence of such a room. What was its purpose? Was it truly a ceremonial room? Or was there something more sinister lurking beneath the surface? Determined to uncover the truth, Adelmo made a mental note to consult his grandfather, hoping that he held the key to unraveling this enigma. Little did he know that danger lurked in the shadows, ready to strike when he least expected it. Adelmo's heart raced as he struggled to make sense of his surroundings. The darkness enveloped him like a thick fog, making it impossible to see more than a few inches in front of him. The air was heavy with a musty smell, and the cold dampness seeped into his bones. As he reached out to touch the walls around him, his fingers brushed against rough, cold stone. Panic began to rise within him as he realized he was trapped in some kind of underground chamber. The thought sent shivers down his spine, and he couldn't shake the feeling of unease that settled in the pit of his stomach. With each step he took, Adelmo's heart pounded in his chest. The ground beneath his feet was uneven and slippery, causing him to stumble and trip over unseen obstacles. The sound of his own ragged breathing echoed off the walls, creating an eerie atmosphere that made him feel like he was being watched. As he tried to navigate through the darkness, a sense of disorientation washed over him. Was he in a cave? A dungeon? The uncertainty gnawed at him, fueling his growing sense of dread. Every corner he turned seemed to lead to another dead end, trapping him in a maze of shadows and uncertainty. Just as Adelmo's fear threatened to overwhelm him, a sudden jolt of recognition shot through him. The feeling of deja vu washed over him like a wave leaving him reeling with confusion. It was as if he had been in this place before, faced with the same darkness and the same sense of foreboding. Memories flickered at the edge of his consciousness, teasing him with fragments of a past he couldn't quite grasp. With a sinking feeling in his chest, Adelmo realized that the answers he sought lay buried deep within his own mind. And as he struggled to piece together the puzzle of his own memories, the darkness of the chamber seemed to close in around him, trapping him in a web of mystery and uncertainty. Day 11. As Adelmo glanced towards the window, he noticed that the early morning light was slowly seeping through the darkness. The room was still cloaked in shadows, but the faint glow hinted at the approaching dawn. Intrigued, he rose from his seat and made his way towards the door, hoping to catch a glimpse of his surroundings. However, as he reached for the doorknob, an inexplicable force overcame him, plunging him into a deep trance. In the depths of his trance, Adelmo's mind conjured up a vivid image from the previous day. The waitress he had encountered, her face etched with fear, was being forcefully dragged into a room that exuded an eerie aura. It seemed to be a place of significance, perhaps even a ceremonial chamber. Before he could fully comprehend the situation, Adelmo's consciousness faded away, succumbing to the darkness that enveloped him. When Adelmo regained his senses, he found himself grappling with disbelief. The scene he had witnessed in his trance-like state was beyond comprehension. It appeared as though the vampires, those mythical creatures of the night, were preparing to perform a ritual of some sort. The room, adorned with cryptic symbols and dimly lit candles, exuded an otherworldly energy. Adelmo's confusion deepened as he struggled to discern whether the events he had witnessed were a glimpse into the past or a foretelling of the future. The uncertainty gnawed at him, leaving him with a sense of unease and an insatiable desire to uncover the truth behind this mysterious spectacle. The events of the previous day played over and over in his mind, each moment etched into his memory like a haunting melody. The sun had shone brightly, casting its warm rays upon the world, as if to mask the darkness that lay beneath the surface. He had seen her, his heart skipping a beat at the sight of her radiant smile. Nothing seemed amiss, no signs of trouble or distress. And yet, here he stood, 
bewildered and perplexed as he tried to make sense of the inexplicable. Shaking off the daze that had enveloped him, he found himself on his knees, his hands pressed against the cold, hard floor. The room seemed to spin around him, a whirlwind of confusion and unanswered questions. What had he just witnessed? The image lingered in his mind, a jigsaw puzzle with missing pieces. Slowly, he rose to his feet, his mind racing with thoughts and possibilities. With a determined resolve, he reached for the doorknob and stepped into the dimly lit hallway. The unfamiliar surroundings only added to his disorientation. He had never been in this part of the castle before, its corridors winding and mysterious. The air felt heavy with secrets, as if the very walls whispered tales of forgotten pasts. As he ventured further, his mind struggled to grasp the purpose behind his sudden relocation. Was he being protected? Or was there something more sinister at play? The uncertainty gnawed at his core, a relentless itch that demanded answers. With each step, he grew more determined to uncover the truth, to find his way back to the safety of his grandfather's house, where perhaps the answers awaited him.